My name is Barry Ween. I have been a licensed funeral director since 1966. You wouldn't believe some of the stories that come up. My family has been in the funeral business uh, since 1909. It's in my DNA. This is my grandfather. His name was Herman Ween. In uh, 1910, they had a white hearse and white horses for the children's funeral. Most people will say, um, is it a depressing business? You get conditioned, same as a doctor that would do surgery. It gives you a appreciation of life. One story that I particularly remember, this was really one uh, that just happens once in a career, I'm sure. There were 200 people uh, in the chapel and um, you know, they're ready to start the funeral. The rabbi is ready to conduct the service and um, we take the son in to identify his mother. So he comes in and I open up the casket for him. He said, Mr. Wink, that's not my mother. We checked the wrist tags, the toe tags, and it matched the name of the person. I called the hospital, and they said, that's her. It's the only death that's been here in four days. So I called up the nursing home where this particular lady got sick. I said, this is the funeral director handling uh, the lady's name, whatever it was. She said, funeral? She just walked by. She's in the card room playing cards. This particular lady got sick in the nursing home, and the nurse pulled out the, inadvertently pulled out the wrong woman's chart. So when she got to the hospital, she was admitted as the person on the chart. When she died, they put the toe tag of the person on the chart, but it actually was not her. And I often thought about it. I said, if we didn't require an identification, or he declined it, uh, he might have never gone to visit his mother again. Well, who knows? Mm -hmm.